friends this is dr mela bhat obstetrician and fetal medicine consultant practicing in mumbai so today we are going to discuss about the role of ultrasonography in pregnancy well some call it ultrasound some call it sonography well friends it's all just one and the same we know that sonography is integral part of pregnancy care these days as the science is advancing we find more and more information from your pregnancy from your unborn baby so you must know what all sonographies are required during pregnancy okay so let's start with the first scan which is known as viability scan now this is done at around 7 to 8 weeks of pregnancy in which first we try and find out whether the baby uh, fit uh, the pregnancy is located properly in your womb or uterus then we look at whether it is singleton or multiple like tri twins or triplet pregnancy etc and then we look at the heartbeat whether the baby has heartbeats seen in the sonography or not and therefore it is known as a viability scan and we can also do dating in this scan so this is one very important scan now following this are two the most important sonographies of pregnancy which are known as nuchal scan which is done at around 3 months of pregnancy and the second one is anomaly scan which is done at around 4 and a half to 5 months of pregnancy so let's understand about each one of them what is nuchal scan well it's a specialized scan which is done between 11 to 14 weeks of pregnancy in which we look at various markers and try and find out what is the possibility of some of the chromosomal problems in your baby so there is one marker which is most important that is known as nuchal translucency that is every baby has fluid behind the neck so we measure the thickness of that fluid and along with some other markers we try and find out the possibility of chromosomal problems in your unborn baby so there is a number which is given at the end of it and after this sonography we club it with a blood test of mother which is known as double marker and then we give a combined risk that is going to tell us about the possibility of chromosomal problems in the baby along with your nuchal scan so that is the significance of nuchal scan not only that some of very gross major anomalies can also be picked up at 3 months of pregnancy following this is the next important scan which is known as anomaly scan which is done around 18 to 20 weeks of pregnancy now this is the time where the baby is almost fully formed and there is good amount of fluid around it so we can have a look at the baby in detail from top to bottom and we are able to rule out almost 85 to 90% of structural anomalies in this scan this is little longer scan because we have to look at all the structures of the baby but this is a very very important scan following this is fetal echo which is a specialized scan of fetal heart of the heart of the baby which is done at around 23 to 24 weeks of pregnancy after that will come a growth scan now before we go to the discussion about next few scans Uh, I would just like to tell you that if you like this video, please do subscribe this channel and also press the bell icon. So let's move ahead in the journey of ultrasound in pregnancy. So the next scan is a growth scan, which is to be done at 28 weeks of pregnancy. Now in this, we try to look whether the baby is growing well, whether the fluid around is it is normal or not. many of the growth disorders we find in the second half of pregnancy and therefore this scan of 28 weeks growth scan is very very important after this will come your next doppler study which is done at around 34 to 35 weeks of pregnancy which in addition to the growth and fluid around the baby will also give us information whether your baby is receiving blood properly or not or getting oxygen from the mother properly or not so again this is a very important scan to find out some of the growth disorders in the later half later part of the pregnancy so all in all these are the scans which are to be done during pregnancy if you want to be sure that your baby is growing well is not having major chromosomal or structural problems during the pregnancy so hope you find this uh, video useful to you 
to try and find out and decide how many sonographies are to be done during pregnancy and take good care of you and your baby. Well, stay tuned because I am going to come up with a series of other such videos to give you more information about the ultrasounds in pregnancy. Thank you very much for being with me. Have a great day.